Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to make large scale updates to the data in your access tables based on a specified criteria, you can create update queries to update selected field values based on whether or not the records match a specified criteria. For example, if you needed to update area codes in a phone number field, based on whether or not the phone number contained a specified exchange, you could accomplish that with an update query. So for example, let's say that we needed to update the area code of 517 to 989 for any phone number where the exchange was 222. We could do that with an update query. Now unlike the select queries that we've created so far, when creating update queries, all that you need to enter into the QBE grid are the actual fields that you wish to update and the fields that are needed for criteria purposes. If you do not want to update all of the records in the selected table when you run an update query, then you must specify criteria by which to update the records. That way, when you run the update query, you will apply the specified updates to only those selected records that match the given criteria. To create an update query, first create a new query in Design View. Then click the Update button that appears in the Query Type group of the Design tab in the Query Tools Contextual tab. When you do this, the layout of the QBE grid will change slightly. You will now see a new row appear in the QBE grid named Update 2. You will then add only the fields from the selected table that you need to update and any fields that are needed for criteria purposes and place them into the QBE grid. Now after that, you enter the value to which you want to update the desired field into the Update 2 row of the QBE grid underneath the field that you need to update. So in this example, we need to change the area code to 989, and then we're going to concatenate that or smush it together, which is indicated by the ampersand, and we want 989 plus the right seven characters out of the phone field, so we use the write function, and then the actual field name, once again in brackets, so phone comma, and then the length, so we want seven characters from the right end, type seven, close parenthesis. Next, you apply the criteria by which you wish to select the records to be updated into the other field or fields as needed. You can then run the query criteria to begin the update. So here in the query criteria field, you just put in the criteria by which you want to update. So in this case, it would be if the exchange equals 222. So here we would say mid, or the middle characters, of the phone field, once again in the brackets, starting with character 4, the next three characters, if that equals 222. Then update the area code to 989. Now when you run this query, you will see a dialog box appear that tells you how many rows you're about to update. If this number is correct, click yes to continue to update the selected records. If it looks incorrect, you can click no to abandon the update and double check your criteria. But be extremely careful when you make an update to your tables, as they can only be reversed by another update query or by hand. You cannot undo the effects of an update query after it's been run. So here if we look at the customers table, we can see that we should have two records that are updated. So then we can take the query and click the run button. It tells us we're going to update two rows. So now we can click yes. And note that it even tells you once you click yes, you can't use the undo command to reverse the change. Are you sure you want to update these records? So when we click yes, if we look at the customers table again, the change should be applied. At this point, you can save the query if you need it.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.